Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. Today is Saturday, May 15th and it is County Hazardous Waste Collection Day. So Michelle had volunteered for the swim club to get rid of a lot of their oil-based paint and the chlorinated rubber. Plus we had a little bit, I had a, that kerosene right there. Kerosene containers now are supposed to be blue. That was back in the day when kerosene containers were yellow with a red stripe. You can see it's a Sears Craftsman, but it's like two thirds full. I couldn't tell you how old the kerosene is. However, it was a nice, uh, tight sealed container because the kerosene that was in it was perfectly clear. But I'm not going to take a chance on using 20 year old kerosene. So it's going for the hazardous waste. We also have some fire extinguishers. I think there's three fire extinguishers in there and an oxygen bottle from when I used to make beer. It was how I used to oxygenate the beer. I used to had a regulator and just a uh, tubing, put it in the beer for like 30 seconds to help activate the yeast. So we're going over to the municipal facility or the county facility in Clayton, New Jersey to drop it off. But I'm gonna stop real quick and get a haircut cause this is like out of control. So I'm gonna stop and get a haircut. Oh, also, you know, great news. You see Mickey Mouse on my hat. With the new CDC guidance, Disney announced last night that um, you don't need masks while outside unless standing in a queue for a ride, but you can just walk around. So for our trip in October, our big family trip, I'm super excited that we're not going to have to walk around the entire time with the masks on because we're all fully vaccinated. It's a good thing. We are on our way to the shore to get pizza and Michelle felt compelled to get McDonald's because <laughs> she has not eaten anything today and she did the pool work party this morning but then came home got a shower real quick and we were out the door so heading to get that haircut gonna drop off the hazardous materials to the county and then off to the shore Michelle told me to take deep breaths because it's probably gonna be crowded <laughs> on a beautiful Saturday yes haircut stop is complete so got a cut it was nice got to talk to my friend rich for a little bit uh my barber rich we go back we were in the same kindergarten class together all the way through high school so he's a good friend and uh i love their shop uh barnesboro barber shop right like the five point so if you're if you're looking for a barber go see my friend rich dorman and uh his partner in crime glenn over at Barnesboro uh, Family Barber Shop. But we are heading now through Pittman, going to get to um, Delcy Drive, and we'll just go down Delcy Drive until we get to the county facility. It is on that street. Over on the right, we bought a car here. Over oh. your other right. <laughs> That was where we bought our Lincoln Navigator years oh, and years ago. That thing was such a headache. Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible, mm, but... There's Mazos. There's Mazos, but it was such a beat-up car. The suspension never worked right. No. And as a result, <laughs> it was always felt like you were just riding in a bouncy car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was terrible. So we are coming up to... The Gloucester County facility looks like they have the sheriff's department out here guiding traffic. Oh man, I knew we were gonna have to wait. Yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty busy. Oh my god, look how many people. So, but it's all good. Yeah. You know what? You just take your time, deep breath, and we'll make our way in here. It doesn't look busy. Yeah. All those cars over there, yeah. all over there, it just goes in a big circle. I'd say there's probably huh. 25 to 30 cars, huh. maybe. Mm. 
We're moving. <laughs> That pickup truck, way or not this one, but the one way up. Mm -hmm. I guess he decided he didn't want to go in because that, he just pulled out. <laughs> For that one fire extinguisher, I guess he figures it doesn't. Yeah. We're not worth it. <laughs> but we have a little more than that. Yeah. <laughs> the back of the car. We have like 30 cans of paint. Yeah. And three fire extinguishers and a can of oxygen. Yeah, well, yeah. I showed all of it. Oh, did earlier, you? Oh, okay. So. All right, so I guess we got to do a license check. check. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, how are you? Good. I'm sorry, I document everything for my YouTube. Is it okay <laughs> if I put you on oh, it? Hi, what's up? Hey. What's your name? My name's Angela. <laughs> That's gonna be Angela. Angela's checking my license. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get down. That's where I call. I know him. So we're about halfway through the line now, and it's been about four to five minutes. So once we get up to the front. Then we have to turn into like the actual fenced complex. And I don't know how many cars are back there, but all in all, it seems to be moving pretty quick. Yeah. Ours will be a little couple minutes. It'll take a couple minutes. Yeah. Well, one thing I noticed was there's about eight cans. It is chlorinated rubber pool paint. And I don't know why. But the cans don't have handles on them. Yeah, they probably rust it off. They might rust it off. I don't know because it, it looks like the material is pretty old. But, you know, there were no handles. So each one I had to pick up, you know, to put into the car yeah. individually. I couldn't just, like, grab two handles. Oh. Plus they swelled. Yeah. Which is concerning. Huh. That, that's why we're here. It's not gonna be my, It's not going to be my concern in about 15 nope. minutes. <laughs> All right, they got to split into two lines. So the gentleman that was directing traffic was pretty interesting. He was doing like real exaggerated motions. So <laughs> yep. it was really nice. But yeah, so they split us in two lines. So we'll see how it goes once we get up there. Oh, look at them all over there. there. There's the process over there. You got to go all the way around the building <laughs> to get to here. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yep. Well, then why split us in two? In the complex is the Gloucester County Animal Shelter, right here, and that is where we got Chunk and Data uh, three three years ago, right? Uh, Michelle's coughing in the video. She's ruining my video. Sorry, I was coughing. What is wrong with you? The coffee. Oh, well, there's a reason it's called coffee. <laughs> I'm good now. I just went down a little. All right. Well, I'm in the middle of my cute little data and chunk story. Sorry. <laughs> so, but that was where they came from. So the story behind that, there was a litter of a bunch of kittens, and there was enough kittens that uh, they each got named after one of the Goonies. So we got Chunk and Data, um, and the person from the shelter, Heidi. I still keep in contact with her three years later, and send pictures of the babies to her and. Let her know how they're doing because she fostered them when they were first born. We're almost there. Almost there, honey. We're getting there. <laughs> okay. It's like the old Seinfeld thing. We're still next. You know, I can <laughs> let anybody go because we're next. <laughs> so it always feels good. This is like the best position instead of being in because you know the anticipation. Well, I don't care what happens. I'm still next. Yeah. Just waiting but for her to tell us to get it. In the maroon shirt was, you know, directing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, every other person. So, I guess the way it works is you stay in your car, they'll open up your trunk and get everything out. Put it on a little tray, walk it over to where it has to go. Although, I haven't seen a person yet that had as much stuff as we do. No. <laughs> no. Okay, so... Uh, it doesn't, it's not automatic. Gonna have to lift it. There we go. So, we got right, it in. Got any latex in here? No. no, no, it's all oil based and acrylics and uh, a couple fire extinguishers and a can of kerosene. Alright, you said all those names. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we had, we had about 20 latex cans, but she did the uh, dry mountain kitty litter at home. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, so she was. 
everybody. Oh, it took hours for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Michelle did a, a good job on getting all the latex out ahead of time, which is definitely helping us. For sure. Look, look, there's a man. Ah, oh, there he is, yep. All base, water base. He already got a set. He already did the kitty litter. <laughs> Yeah, we used two full bags of kitty litter for all that latex. Oh, yeah. Two yep. full big bags. Yep. Well, I'm glad you guys doing it right, man. Yeah, yeah. we tried, tried to, to do it right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alrighty. So as you can see, uh, the line <laughs> is, is like almost non-existent out now. here now, and I'm not sure what the deal is because yeah. this is supposed to go until two o'clock, and when we pulled in, cars were literally on the shoulder of the road to get in. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether we've just hit a lull, or maybe they did lower the hours I, you know I don't know I think there's there's still people coming in but I get to make a left on the Delcy Drive which even on the best of days is its own adventure <laughs> but we're gonna just take it slow I know Michelle is jonesing to get down to Ocean City for her Manco and Manco pizza woohoo <laughs> off we go off we go uh, I don't think the person behind me was real happy in their little BMW, but <laughs> oh well. So the next stop we're going to have is going to be Ocean City. We'll see you there. Michelle and I made it to Ocean City, and we found a meter. You can see for it's 50 cents for two hours. You you get two hours to sign. It took us almost that long to find this parking spot. <laughs> yeah, we've been circling around for like a half an hour, and the sign... You know, you can see it says two hour parking from nine till six. So all the lots are full. All the lots. The lots, it's not even like we could pay to get in. The lots were literally full. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> so we got parked and we are in Manco and you can see it's pretty full. Oh, there's Michelle. Yeah, they saw me. <laughs> But we're going to get our usual, which is just uh, plain cheese pizza, Michelle Diet Pepsi, me the burst beer. I always got to get the burst beer. Always. So, always. But last time we were here, no, two times ago, I went overboard. I ate half the pizza, four <laughs> slices. You know, so I don't know if I'll do that today, but I am pretty hungry. <laughs> One thing that Michelle and I just noticed is they are using the oven, oven back here. Like right where you see and all the times that we've come here I've never seen them using the back pizza oven so that's a, a first for us and the gift shops open yeah. we don't usually come in the middle of summer <laughs> no it's usually there's snow on the ground or we're wearing a coat but I've never seen the gift shop open either and so that's the first time for that but it's, it's pretty neat to see them using the ovens back here this is what it's all about, the Manco and Manco pizza. And we got our sodas. That place is mine. See the bubble? <laughs> Michelle's big on the bubbles. Love the bubbles. So she's going to get that. So I think I'll, I'll give them a commercial. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> advertising for them, so I'll do a jingle. When at the shore and on the go, stop and get Manco, Manco. That's not really a jingle, but I just thought I'd make that up. We got our pizza. I wound up having three pieces. Michelle had two. And if you look at the line to get in now, I mean, Michelle and I walked in and there was one couple in front of us. And I honestly, there was a huge line outside. And I wondered, 
<laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> and I wondered if people thought they had to be in the line on the left to get in because there's a line on the right. So Michelle said, no, you don't have to be in the left, go in the right. And we walked right in. But now... Yeah. Although I've seen the line longer, though. It has been longer, like a couple of months ago when yeah. we were down here. But I would say there's 40 people. Yeah. Probably 40 people to get in. Yuck. Leftovers. Yeah, so we got some leftovers. <laughs> oh, look, they have a pizza box uh, dispenser here. Oh, oh yeah. Put your trash. Yeah. Pizza trash right there. And we got a lady playing flute, like, down that way, down yonder. Fifty-one years old, <laughs> and she's never had Core Brothers ice cream. So I have she, now. She has now. <laughs> so, you know, I had always said before to her that you needed to try it. Just never, it's never open, because we're usually here during the, like, cooler awesome. weather. So she finally got her Core Brothers, and what's your evaluation? I like it, but I think I like Dairy Queen and Donna Birds better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm a Dairy Queen fan. She likes Donna Birds. I don't like Donna Birds, but she does. But I'm a Dairy Queen fan, but I'm glad she at least got the opportunity to try it. So we're going to sit on a bench, let her finish her ice cream, then we're going to head back to the car and start the journey home. Back in the car for the ride, Michelle and I couldn't help but laugh at two different things. Number one is, I think we parked farther away than we thought. I think we're like, you know, a good five blocks off of the boardwalk. So. That's how far we had to go off to find a spot, you know. Because um, like I said, the lots that we passed were all full. It wasn't a matter of being cheap and not wanting to pay $10 for parking. There was The lot lots literally had signs saying they were full. But you never know how long you're going to be up there because... I showed you the line in Manco and Manco to get in after we were leaving. You know, you're going to wait probably a good half an hour to 45 minutes at that point. But we got back to the car and the meter still had 57 minutes left on it. So, and it, I mean, it's not a bad spot. It's kind of near the end. There's a driveway behind me so nobody can mm -hmm. just pull right up on you. So you can easily back out and get in, pull in. and It's a good spot. It is a good spot, <laughs> but somebody's going to get it with, you know, now at this point, 55 minutes left on the meter if they yeah. need to do anything quick. We didn't shop on the boardwalk. We just went and ate and going home. <laughs> That's it. So the trip is done. We are back home, and I guess we were out of the house for about seven hours. Maybe about seven hours. And we made a few stops on the way home. We stopped and got... Tuckahoe Cheesecake Factory. Love. It was funny because we were in there and there was a couple in there and they were asking what's good and we said, oh, you never been here? Oh, no, it's our first time. We're like, oh. Yeah, they heard about it. And we're like, anything you get in here is going to be yeah. good. So uh, we stopped there. We stopped at Tractor Supply. Got Alex a pair of muck boots for Bridgeton. in Bridgeton to get for in case he goes in the chicken coop and Michelle stopped at a Dollar Tree. Just see what it like. Yeah, you it was like nice. That. I did like it. It had a lot of nice stuff. <laughs> and then uh, came straight home from there. So all in all, it was a really good day. Michelle said it was, you know, date day. Date day. It's a good day. <laughs> it was a good day. <laughs> but we had a good time. Thanks for joining us for the day. Like and subscribe if you can. And have a great afternoon.